Hello, welcome to our course on effective team management. I'm Dr. Ayla Esen and I will be uh, instructing this course over five different parts. So let's go over uh, the outline of this part. So I will briefly start with uh, introducing myself to you. Uh, then I will uh, give brief information about the funding body of this project. As you know, uh, this course is prepared as part of the person project. And then I will be talking about the requirements of this course. And also I will mention uh, which uh, audience uh, it would benefit from this course most. Then we will review the syllabus of the coming uh, four parts. Uh, and also we will give a brief introduction to the next part of this course. So I'm Ayla Esen and I'm currently an assistant professor of management and organization in the School of Business at Altenbach University. Um, I'm actually uh, a quasi-academic. I'm teaching courses on management like strategic management, change management, human resource management. I'm also doing research uh, on specifically social innovation and sustainability issues as well as innovativeness. And I also have experience uh, of 10 years as a consultant in the private industry. And if you would like to learn more about me, you can just Google me or um, follow me on Twitter. So uh, what do we require? I mean, what would you require to uh, take full advantage of this course? Um, actually, just some basic computer usage uh, would be enough for you to follow this course easily. And because you are actually expected to have the basic technological skills, as if you would like to learn more, you could search or you can search uh, for uh, different aspects of team management after completion of our course, because I will give you some guidelines on how to uh, manage teams effectively. But if you would like to delve more into uh, team management, then I would recommend you to also check for extra sources from the internet. Who is our target audience for this course? Um, it's actually uh, individuals who would like to improve their team building and team management skills. So what we are offering through this course is that uh, you will hopefully gain uh, skills on how to manage teams effectively. Uh, you will learn about the different types uh, of teams, what kind of roles there are in teams, and hopefully you will gain insights on how to be an effective team player. Uh, um, so I would also would, uh, like to uh, give you some brief information about uh, the funding of this project. So this course is offered as part of the person project. Altenbach University is the leading partner here. And uh, the project is uh, funded by uh, European Union's Erasmus Plus program. Uh, Erasmus Plus is European Union's program to support education, training, youth, and sport in Europe. And the aim of this program is to contribute to the Europe uh, 2020 strategy for growth, jobs, social equity and inclusion, as well as the aims of ET2020, the EU Strategic Framework for Education and Training. So if you would like to learn more information about Erasmus+, Plus, just click on this link that is provided on this web page. And here is our course syllabus. Uh, as I told you, this course is made up of five different parts. So here we are in the first part. And uh, this part is dedicated to welcoming you to the course and to give you brief information about the syllabus. So what are we going to cover in the coming four parts is that first we will take a look at 
uh, groups and teams. Uh, what's the difference between a group and a team? What is a group? What is a team? How can we compare and contrast these two concepts? So we will take a, a look into these questions in the second part. In the third part, we will talk about the different types of teams and how they function, about their purpose and about their uh, structure. We will also talk about some examples of these different types of teams. Um, in the fourth part, we will talk about how to avoid mistakes, some common mistakes in team management. And therefore, we will also talk about the common characteristics of uh, effective teams. So uh, we will both talk about what kind of errors can be made there and how we should avoid these types of errors and problems in teams. And in the fifth part, we will talk about team roles. Uh, how can people have different team roles? Why these team roles are important in effectively managing teams? So this is the overview of our course in general. In our next part, uh, we will start to delve into groups and teams, their definitions, but first we will start with the social identity theory, which actually explains the basis of uh, both groups and teams. We will also talk about the difference between the concepts of the group and the team. So uh, I'm going to see you in the second part of this course. Take care.